hello students welcome to engineers academy let's solve this problem from engineering dynamics so in this problem it is said that starting from rest a bicyclist travels around a horizontal circular path and that circular path has a radius of 10 meters right so i will write that the initial velocity of the bicyclist is 0 meter per second and the radius of the curvature is 10 meter right and it is said that at a speed of this so velocity as a function of time is given right so we can write that this is 0 0.09 t square plus 0 0.1 t right and it is said that where t is in second it is said that determine the magnitudes of his velocity and acceleration when he has traveled s equals to 3 meters right so we have to find the velocity magnitude and the acceleration magnitude at s equals to 3 meter right so now if you want to find the velocity at velocity at s equals to 3 meters right so now as we can see that we are given the velocity as a function of time right so we have to find the time at which the bicyclist will travel 3 meter distance right so what we can do is that we can develop a relationship between the s and t right so as we know that velocity is ds by dt right so this will be 0 0.09 t square plus 0 0.1 t and i can multiply this with dt both side by dt so then we will have ds equals to this thing right so then in order to have a relationship of s with respect to t so then what we will do is that we will integrate this equation right so we will integrate this from 0 to s and this will be from 0 to t right so this is if we integrate this so then this will be s minus 0 and this will be 0 0.09 t cube divided by 3 plus 0 0.1 t square divided by 2 and if we simplify this then this is 0 0.03 t cube plus 0 0.05 t square right so now this is s of t function right so now we can put this s equals to 3 so then this equation will give us the time that the bicycle cyclist will take to reach to travel that distance s equals to 3 meters right so if i put s equals to 3 in this equation so then we will have this equation like this this is cube right this is q plus 0 0.05 t square and we can bring this 3 to the other side of equation so this will be minus 3 and we can write that this will be equal to 0 right so we have this uh, third degree equation so if we find the roots of uh, this third degree polynomial right so we can use calculator to find that so we can use this fourth equation right so we will write 0 0.03 0 0.05 all the coefficients right 0 and then minus 3 so as we can see that the first root is 4.147 this is positive this one is negative and this one is negative complex right so this means that when s is equal to 3 meters t is equal to 4.417 the positive root right so we will write that t is equal to 4.147 right seconds so this means that the bicyclist will take 4.14 seconds to travel that s equals to 3 meters right so now we know the time required for that s equals to 3 meters so we can put this in equation 1 let's say this is our equation 1 so this means that the velocity when s is equal to 3 meters is 0 0.09 into 4.147 square plus 0 0.1 into 4.147 so we can calculate this right so this is 0 0.09 into 4.147 squared plus 0 0.1 into 4.147 so this is 1.962 so the velocity is 1.962 meter per second when s is equal to 3 meters right and similarly we can find the acceleration so again 
acceleration will be equal to the tangential acceleration since it's a curvilinear, curvilinear motion so the tangential acceleration will be v dot and v dot is dv by dt right so we can write the d by dt and we are given the velocity as a function of time which is 0 0.09 t square plus 0 0.1 t so if we take the derivative of this so then this will be 0 0.09 2 into 0 0.09 t plus 0 0.1 right so this will give us the tangential acceleration right so if we put t equals to 4.147 so that will give us the magnitude of the tangential acceleration when s is equal to 3 meters right so this will be 2 into 0 0.09 into t which is 4.147 right 4.147 plus 0 0.1 so this is 0 0.846 right so 0 0.846 meter per second square and similarly we can find the normal component of the acceleration right so a n will be equal to v square divided by the radius of the curvature velocity magnitude is known which is 1.962 so i will write 1.962 squared divided by 10 so this will give us the normal acceleration magnitude when s is equal to 3 meters right so this is 1.962 squared divided by 10 so this is 0 0.385 right so we will write that this is 0 0.385 meter per second square and we need to find the acceleration magnitude so the acceleration magnitude will be a t square plus a n square we will take the square root so we can find it a t is 0 0.846 so 0 0.846 squared plus 0 0.385 squared a n is 0 0.385 right so this is 0 0.929 right so i will write 0 0.929 meter per second square so this is the acceleration magnitude when s is equal to 3 meters and this is the velocity magnitude at s equals to 3 meters right so this is the solution of this particular problem